What up, everybody? Uh, welcome back. Uh, I got Ted with me. Hi. Hi, everyone. Well, okay, so the concept for this is um, different than anything I've, I've tried out before, and I listen to sports podcasts, and this is like a thing that they do quite a bit because, you know, in sports, there's trades because of the way that those contracts work. One team can trade, you know, one player or two players for one player or and whatever amount of players. And that's like something that a lot of the, the pundits discuss throughout the year. They talk about value of players and then they talk about potential trades for players and, and destinations and stuff. I was thinking this might be something to attempt to do in skateboarding to be, this obviously isn't how anything works. Like there's never been a skateboarding trade before as far no. as I'm aware of. People just quit when, when they're over it. So this is like from a practical point of view, this is totally pointless, but hopefully from an entertainment point of view this this has something to offer yeah probably one of the reasons why this doesn't happen in skateboarding is because no one has good contracts at all right. people are paid <laughs> some people are just yeah. like really you would we're gonna pay this guy 70 dollars yeah. a month cool okay everybody's supposed to be an independent contractor right yeah 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 which is so if somebody breaks their leg doing their job jumping down a set of stairs then it's it's on them it's, it's their fault I'm, I'm sure some of those uh those some of the large shoe companies probably do a little bit of health insurance right maybe well anyway the way we're gonna structure this is we're gonna present each other with trades and mm -hmm. in these trades we're either gonna do shoe companies or board companies and the person presenting the trade has to represent one side of the deal and they need to i guess sort of attempt to explain it to the other person in a way where that other person, if they were representing this company, might be interested or might take somewhat seriously. So, I mean, I think yeah. it's gonna get pretty loose with that, but that's mm -hmm. the premise mm -hmm. anyway. Okay, cool, yeah, I'm ready. All right, do you um, wanna go first? Yeah, sure, I mean, I'm just gonna use this one just as uh, to see if I'm thinking about this correctly. Uh -huh. um, so, for my first trade, I am moving Louis Lopez over from uh, F.A. and taking him over to the real camp. Oh, no. Yeah. In exchange for, of course, Kyle Walker. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Now, 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 now. Hear me out. This is, uh, this is like the one that I thought about the most. <gasps> oh, right? really? This is the one you poured all your resources into? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Louis has shown no sl signs of slowing down over the Absolutely. last few years. He has been passed over for the most important award in skateboarding ever. Thrasher Magazine's Skater of the Year been robbed. The only explanation that I can come up with is that it has to do with his board sponsor. Oh. Now, what, what board company has more sodies than real? Mason, Ashad, <gasps> Kyle Walker. Okay. Probably some others. Good point. I'm going to move Louie over to real Kyle Walker. He can but I'm, I'm Dill in this situation. You realize that, right? Well, what I had in my head was you present this in a way that might convince me. Okay, so I am offering you Kyle Walker uh, for Lou. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need to see Kyle's sixth grade portrait. That's the first thing we need to get yeah, out I'm of sure the way. It's a... First of all, I'm saying no, of course. Of course I'm oh. saying no. Okay. If I'm yeah. Dill. I love, I love the way that you're framing this though, and this is exactly the kind of thing that I, I want to do this exercise for. Can I can I tell you my my Louis Lopez destination? Yeah, where, where do you have Louis going? All right, I'm Logan, Lara. I go to Jason. Oh, yeah. I, I go to Jason Dill, and I say, "All right, Jason, let's keep it a thousand. Your board mm -hmm. company ain't going anywhere but downhill from this point, right? Yeah. I walk yeah, into yeah. the the warehouse. There's boards fucking everywhere, just stacked. Saturated, yeah. A hundred thousand boards in the fucking warehouse, and they're all twenty nine ninety nine. It's time you cut Louis loose. Like, let's yeah. be real. I mean, my team is stacked as fuck, but I don't want to lose any of my guys, the limousine guys. I like all mm -hmm. of my guys. Mm -hmm. Let's think about it from this perspective. Like you said, what does Louis do? He gets footage. He's a footage machine. What does limousine do? They put out videos. Yeah. Louis's cool. He's cool, but he's not like... He's not quite the type of cool that F.A. like kind of begs, which is yeah. they want you to paint your nails. You know, they, yeah, they, they he's, want he's not he's not Elijah Burrell cool. What the hell? No, not even close. Louis never really fit into that mold. L limousine 
is still cool, but it doesn't require you to like be emo or some okay. shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's my pitch. I say, Dill, if you really care about skateboarding, you've got one of the best guys. You give him to us because we know what to do with him. We can okay. make Louie look better than anyone else. It, I guess it depends on what Limousine wants to do, but I'm thinking if Limousine could land like some all-star, that would like probably push them over the line into like the market of... Because right now they're kind of one of those board companies that's sort of small that only like the super skate people know about, people that work in the industry, people that like really consume skateboarding in a serious way. But I think as far as like the mainstream is concerned, then it would take somebody like Louis Lopez, you know, for them to be recognized in a big way. If Louis Lopez starts posting himself, you know, on Instagram skating limousine stuff, then I think yeah. that would open the whole brand up to a big audience. You know, that would be a huge risk for for Louis Lopez, obviously. But that's that's my that's my that's thesis. Your pitch. Then who who do, who am I? Uh, you don't get anybody. I don't, no, no, no. This no, is it's, it's, this is oh, okay. So this is just a full defection. This is just a salary dump. Is what okay. this is. Because Louis just a I... waste of money, right? You yeah. need to get rid of him. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm I'm asking you to take your most productive guy who you've done like probably two shoe collabs with in the last two years, and I'm asking, I'm I want him. I'll think about it. Oh, <laughs> okay. You just get I think right I, back I can to see me. that. Yeah, yeah. I'll get, I'll get back to you. It's not that crazy though, is it? No, I like that idea. Great success. Give me your next one. I want I want more. Okay, I'm putting Ben Cato on Frog, Crazy Frankie on Hockey. Ben's right. a little too weird for hockey. Ben's a little too goofy. You reckon? Yeah, and I think Crazy Frankie is a little too gnarly for Frog. I think hmm. he's like he's hmm. intense. He he jumps on shit and loose cannon. You have me thinking a little bit. If I worked at hockey, if I was a guy that was responsible for making decisions about the roster i would mm. look at it this way which is that ben k kind of brings something to the team that i think is lacking elsewhere which is like this super you know like ultra serious like try hard thing where ben still like he kind of has that where he's not like he's serious but he is also like there's like a there's kind of a sense of humor to what he does i think aligns a little bit with the way that um Benny makes the videos. I like the idea of Crazy Frankie on hockey, but I don't know if if I would be convinced enough. I don't think I'd be willing to let go of Ben K for it because I think Ben K is more valuable than 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 Crazy Frankie is. Okay, all right. That's, I gotta say, trade. yeah. No, okay, well, so I <laughs> it doesn't ha it doesn't. Ha I think a lot of these aren't going to be like good trades, you know. Yeah. But it's like. There's there's stuff to talk about like with each skater's value. Frankie's been like undervalued for a while. I'm pretty sure he's turning pro for frog like very very soon. Yeah, I I would be open to maybe like a two for one deal potentially on on hockey. Okay. Okay. Who do we have? Hockey roster. Donovan Piscopo. And we're we're going to frog here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Joseph Campos is kind of an interesting one. Is he the one that like has a cool like boned out ollie and? He's like, the one who had like the crazy footage in the last hockey X yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kid that skates the 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 Nikes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Nikes. I think you could wrap your head around Joseph Campos for to frog for crazy Frankie. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. That, that's much better. That's a good compromise. I think Joseph Campos is maybe a little slightly better, and he's younger. Here's here's an idea for you. What about yes, Andrew yes. Allen to Frog? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yes. that that kind of that follows. Like that kind of makes and, a bit of sense. And, he and Jesse could skate some banks to shit. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm happy with that one. I'm shaking your hand on that deal. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. This is a little crazy, but it, maybe not, actually. I'm Deathwish, you're primitive. And I say, I want to trade you Jamie Foy for Frankie Villani. Ooh, I like that. That's a, that's a deal I can sink my teeth into. Mm -hmm. um, they're both huge. They're both massive. Yeah, and they're both like surprisingly good. I like that. I, I think I'd, I'd be willing to do that. Putting Jamie Foy on primitive makes a lot of fiscal sense. Yeah. I could see, I could see Villani. Yeah, of course. Like, who did he skate for before he, Primitive? Was it like Zero or something? Yeah, he was like Zero and a slash Mystery kind of thing going on, which was weird. But I'm pretty sure it was Zero. Yeah, Deathwish is a step step up from Zero and closer to Frankie Villani's spiritual home. 
Frankie doesn't like fully fit in anywhere, I don't think. But if if you were thinking about Jamie Foy and Jamie Foy didn't skate for Death Wish right now and we were having this conversation, I don't even know where in the list of destinations Death Wish would be on, but it, I don't think it would be anywhere near the top. So I'm saying that like the fact that Jamie Foy skates for Death Wish now is already kind of weird. Like yeah. even the name, it's like, how are you going to have like a, a Red Bull guy skating for a company called death wish now i'm sure like death wish probably does not want to get rid of jamie foy at all but yeah. like in terms of of fit he makes more sense on primitive and i think that you c kill two birds with one stone in the sense that also people always talk about how frankie doesn't really make a ton of sense on on primitives okay i like that that one's that one's handshake that's a deal it's a deal okay yeah. An another deal, the art of the deal, baby. All right, you're up. Okay, so I am, <coughs> I'm coming into the warehouse as the agent. Um, oh, an agent. Yeah, I'm, here we go. I'm coming in into Baker Boys <laughs> distribution uh, to have a sit down with the boss. Hear me out, Andrew. I have a master's degree holding architect, East Coast legend. Screaming Baker already. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. But like also one of the things that Baker does not have is too many non-males on their team. So I am thinking Alexis Sablone on Baker and that empty spot on weekend will be filled by Kevin Spanky Long. Because I think that Kevin is showing some weekendish tendencies. He's going out skating with those those dudes. They, they all kind of look basically the same they skate the same kind of east la spots uh -huh. um kevin had his redemption you know he he uh oh okay let me just let me stop you really quick i'm okay. loving this only problem that we have is that alexis does not skate for weekend god damn <laughs> alzheimer's oh man i'm an old head i don't know okay, no no, well, no no it's fine it's fine it's yeah. fine i already i had alexis to baker also oh no way Who yes are you? okay and i traded jacopo to all timers all timers it's i don't even know what it is anymore the last video wasn't loving it to me felt like a little bit like a, a dud we've talked about how much we love the graphics before but they had that weird scandal thing and then alexis only had like two or three clips in it which was weird because i waited like 40 minutes to see alexis footage and then there were like three clips and i was like what the fuck so it would appear that sh she's not like overly enthusiastic about the situation Reynolds x Alexis like we got your old head god mm -hmm. Andrew your old head god s Alexis that's a power duo on Baker you want to go into retirement skating skating for Baker you know yeah I like that that's that makes perfect sense here's kind of a, a random one maybe a, a, a less interesting one than some of the other ones but who am I in this situation? Uh, I work for pizza, I guess. And for some Ooh. reason, I'm saying this. I'm um, sorry. I'm a guy that works at pizza, and I feel really bad for Vincent Malou. That's that's where I'm coming from. And I want to trade him to April for Ronnie Kessner and Ish Sapita. Deal. Really? <laughs> yeah. You're April, and you're you yeah, you want just, uh, you want Vincent. Yeah, Vincent has been dealt a shitty hand in uh, sponsor life. He's on Adidas and, now. Yeah. So good. I'm thinking if that was, if that could have been like the sticking point before, it's like, dude, are you really thinking we're going to take this guy that skates for Globe and pizza? Like, fuck you. There's no, no. way. Now he's yeah. a guy that skates for Adidas and prestige pizza. sponsors. Yeah. I think, I think April makes more sense. He's a street league skater. Yep. But he's also, he can crank out some quality street footage as well. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's kind of the angle that April's going for right now, which is like, we do contest skating, but they're also like really leaning into the street thing at the moment, which is why they keep like announcing these these guys with like solo parts. And I don't know those other two skaters. I think I could recognize Ish if, if I like pressed, but um, sure, just slap him over to pizza. Damn. Yeah, that's brutal yeah. for Ish. Sorry, Ish. Sorry, Ish. Yeah, You're you deserve just, better. It's yeah. nothing personal. It's just business. <laughs> exactly. How about I'm Frog Skateboards. Mm -hmm. Nice. I come to, to Meow Skateboards, <laughs> and I say, 
I would like to offer you Jesse Alba for Poe Pinson. Are you familiar with Poe Pinson? <laughs> no. Let me send you this Poe Pinson clip. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's sick. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. thinking we send her to Frog and we yeah. exile Jesse on <laughs> Meow Skateboards Island. I think, I think he'd be fine with that. Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? You go from yeah. frog to cat to meow. What difference yeah, does it exactly. make? Man, frog's kind of getting a pretty sick roster. They with, got Ben with... K. <laughs> 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 and now Poe Pipson or whatever. All right, well, I'm happy there's another successful trade in the books. Yeah, I like that one. Mine are, mine are for a long trade. I think this one's <laughs> destined to... Uh, this is a good one. This one makes sense. This is uncontroversial as fuck. Okay. Everyone's going to like this one. Uh, Nikel back on real in exchange for... Rashad on King. Huh. Okay. No. Uh, can I make my case? You may make your case. Sure. I'm just letting you know off rip. I'm feeling a, a very firm no in my gut. Is it because you don't want to lose a shot or is it, it because is. you don't want to? Well, okay. it's maybe it's not a either or situation. <laughs> I think again, real is such a mega team that even someone like a shot, I'd like to see more shod footage and i think he's capable of like another good at least five years of like good ripping although older i'd like to see more Ishad. this thought occurred to me as well but i couldn't figure out like a way in which it would like make any sort of like logical sense at all Ishad king skateboards the thing that also like i guess kind of made me second guess it is the fact that I know in this interview that Ashad did recently, because because Gary Rogers does these interviews live on on Twitch for Thrasher Magazine, mm -hmm. and he had been interviewing Ashad about a uh, skater of the year, and I think Ashad was like really heavily pulling for Louie, like explaining because of his opinion on the situation was because of all the travel that Louie was doing. He was all over the place skating like tons of spots, like clearly put in like a ton of work. That was why he thought that Louis should. So now I'm thinking like in hindsight, having had that talk, is it is is a shot going to be in a in a situation where he is going to be like happy to go and skate for Tyshawn's company? Because I feel like if that was something that was possibly, you know, in, in the cards, he probably wouldn't have given that Louis answer in the Sodi thing. Uh, you know? Yeah, good. Good call. Well, maybe maybe like sharing a uh, board, the duties of running a board brand. Are you offering a, a part ownership now? Yeah, I'm, this... I'm offering. Yes, I'm offering equity. In ah, <laughs> okay, very good. And okay, I, and I just think you know, like Nikel is a delightful guy. I think he might he might be a bit of a liability for such a small brand as as King. Maybe a more promising kind of team player over at Real. Can I offer a variation on this trade? Yes, yes. All right. The only other guy on King is Zach Saraceno. So former just, Illegal you... Civ Pro, you're not oh, familiar? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm sure. saying, even though I have no idea why Real would agree to this, but unless Ashad, like, you know, insisted on it, I'm saying we do Zach Saraceno from King, we give him to Real, and then King takes Ashad. And King offers equity mm. in King Skateboards to Ashad. And then you've got like a really solid roster. Tyshawn, Nikel, and Ashad. I feel like that would give the, the board... Because right now I think King is missing... It's missing a little bit of heft. Like it's, yeah. it feels like it's, it's, it's still... You know, it's, it's a brand new company. But it does feel like it could, it could really use like another big name... I think is Shad being being tossed in there. Also, what like what you mentioned earlier might compel a Shad to put out some more footage, like you know reinvigorate him, get him excited to make some more projects. I can totally see that working. I'm am learning all about Zach Harris, you know now, but yeah, okay. Also a guess a guess original skateboarder. He and Alex Midler holding it down over there. The Google thing for it says amateur skateboarder from Encinitas, California. Says he's best at skating ledges, rails, and stairs, but looks pretty good all around. Damn, who who wrote that one? Is that a, a an That's X just, Games article? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it where is it really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was a shot in the dark. Okay, yeah. I, I, I think I'm down to my last one here. Man, this is a total meme that somebody in my uh my chat recommended, but okay. I'm sci-fi fantasy. Mm-hmm. I go to Dark Star. 
I say, we want to trade you gifted hater for Ryan Desenzo. You work <laughs> at you work at Dark Star. What are you thinking? Um, that there's a sh- short answer and a slightly longer answer. Which Give me the prefer? slightly longer one, please. Fuck no. Oh shit. Yeah, sorry, buddy. You know, you got the YouTube thing. You got the damn. You got you have a voice, but you don't Ryan think I'll De- sell in Walmart? Desenzo parties. Desenzo fucks. Desenzo skates. Oh, I don't party or fuck. The- <laughs> yeah, he is Dark Star to the core. So this is Jerry is the one thinking about this. Jerry's the one who comes to Dark Star. Yeah, this is over- this actually Jerry texted me. This was entirely his idea. Really? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Can I just I'm say sorry. this to you though? Yeah, yeah. In your defense, yeah. What Imagine you, what could... a portrait of me, just like you're seeing me now. Yeah. Headphones on, glasses. Me as a as a bust in the style of Dark Star on an eighty dollar complete. Yeah, that would look sick. Is there something? There's something about that that just kind of seems like kind of correct, you know? <laughs> well, yeah. I didn't think about like how the actual board would look okay yeah i'm so not pro for sci-fi but when i no. get to dark star they will turn me pro to recoup for the loss of ryan desenzo and you think you could sell more boards uh than ryan desenzo uh i mean i don't i don't know about about more but it might not but be that much less yeah <laughs> definitely sell some boards um yeah you're up you're up okay oh shit man i don't have any good ones but um no 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 hold oh yeah easy easy uh-huh. Again, a trade easy trade. Okay. Chandler on Anihiro, BA on there. Okay. 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 I think I think he's definitely doing much more kind of cruising type of skating these days. Uh-huh. Whereas Ch- Chandler's still really getting buck, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And and so because Antihero is such a kind of like it's a legendary like legacy brand, but they don't have a lot of new blood. They need someone to kind of clean up their image a little bit after Don von der Linden, who's still putatively on the brand. One, I, I know that he was getting boards from Manny Hero, and I think the BA would be kind of like at, at this stage in his career, he's he's more like okay. skate rock skate rock ridge, do some slappies and no complies. It's all under de- deluxe anyway. So it's yeah. kind of like just, you know, somebody moving around chess pieces on a, on of their own color type of thing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. you're taking Brian Anderson and you're saying, we're going to put him on there. And then that'll give their a little bit of attention because mm-hmm. he's a big name. But then also, I think from my point of view, and I could be biased on this because Chandler's my friend, Chandler does seem like kind of un- under underrated or underrepresented in where he is currently. Does definitely deserve some sort of shoe contract. Um, which he isn't getting right now, and maybe moving him over to Antihero would help, you know, boost the reputation of the Antihero brand, and also I think would help Chandler get his name out there a little bit more. So I think this is this might be the best trade of the whole evening. Also, <laughs> I will just really quickly say um i i've been meaning to do this at some point or another vans has gotta they gotta get their shit together because i they did an ad with chandler where they paid chandler and a couple of chandler's friends to do like this bottom feeder like vans is very you know pro queer we love gay people type marketing thing but then they don't have chandler on contract so what they're doing is you know like look at us we're vans and how excellent we are we love the gay community in the context of doing an advertisement, but what actually comes to supporting gay people and paying them, they don't seem to be so interested in that. Yeah. Virtue signaling to the max. Yeah, they need to quit waffling about that shit. Put on, you know, massively at Dime Glory Challenge. Maybe kind of deserves to, you know, toss them a couple emeralds. Absolutely. So, yeah. whatever. Well, well, maybe Chandler and, and our hero is the beginning of that uh, professionalization. You have this is going to send they... shockwaves down the oh. industry. No, oh. I don't <laughs> Imagine yeah, we'll yeah. see like five of these actually come to fruition right <laughs> yeah, after this. this. Is, Chris uh, Millick just watching this on his computer like, holy shit, I should do <laughs> this That's a great stuff. idea. I can't wait to see what skateboarding looks like when when all this happens. It's going to be so different. Thank, yeah. thank you for coming on. Thanks for um, having me. Everyone say thank you, Ted. Bye. Thank you, Ted. If I had to live my life, there's no near me. 
The days were so empty.